Hello everyone and welcome to this month's Mixed Media Menagerie. Uh, this month the theme uh, for March is spring and we are using a fluorescent color, deli paper, glass bead gel, and a flower stencil. And all of this awesome um, ephemera that Erin uh, dropped off to us. Um, I was trying not to rip the deli paper. I think I ended up <laughs> ripping it anyway, but um, So this is all of the cool goodies that Erin um, Gave to us and then also sent to our winner for last month uh, So if you play along with us this month um, you'll be entered to win a um, the April ephemera pack as well as our sponsor's gift, uh, which is some art, how do you say? Artistro. Um, I keep wanting to say, say Astero for some reason, but Artistro paint pens. They're paint markers, extra fine tip. You can use them on anything. So um, the winner will be getting one of those also. So here I am putting out my palette. I wasn't sure where I wanted to start. Uh, fluorescent colors aren't necessarily my jam. But uh, I decided to start just by making some flowers that I thought maybe I would want to use um, as some collage fodder on, t on my uh, pages. So I was showing you here, I have some Sennelier um, fluorescent pink and then also just a deco art uh, craft paint fluorescent. And I thought it was kind of interesting the difference in the color. Um, one is a little bit, I guess, pinker or brighter than the other. Um, but I am just taking some craft packing paper that I had gotten in a package. Um, and I put some uh, clear gesso on it. And I'm just trying to make some loose abstract florals with my paint um, to kind of go with this theme of spring. So this is some newsprint that I also had. It was uh, ripped off from a drawing that I also did, or that I had done before, and I put some clear gesso on it. And now I decided before my flowers dried, I wanted to go in with my Stabilo pencil and just do some outlines and squiggly um, drawings into the paint, just to kind of make it look more loose and abstracty.
So I bought some new hamburger patty paper, um, which is essentially deli paper. This set is a lot more uh, waxy than the original patty paper that I'd gotten. Um, so I'm not sure how much I like it, but I kind of do like the um, effects that it has with the acrylic, how it kind of spreads a little bit. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I am just using some of my paint to make a flower on here because I know that part of the challenge is to use some deli paper. So we are going to work that in with the flowers. So now I'm taking some different shades of green to make some leaves, some loose leaves around my flowers. I think we have some Dina Weekly Media Olive, um, Charvin Olive, and it's interesting to see the different, um, completely different colors that they are, um, and also some Dina Weekly Media Turquoise. And I'm just going in and making some loose leaf shapes, and then I will outline those also with my Stipolo pencil. So as I was going through Erin's uh, stuff that she gave to us, I was looking at this awesome paper that had all the fluorescent colors all over it, and it also looks like deli paper. So I thought it would be perfect for using on the background. So I am spreading out some uh, fluid matte medium, and I'm just gonna glue it um, to the paper. Some of the spray is water soluble. It looks like maybe some dilutions or some um, like some kind of water soluble spray. Uh, so it does kind of move around a little bit but that's okay. It's just going to be in the background. So I am totally fine with that.
So now I'm going to take some of my gesso and go over that um, just, just enough so that some of the color peeks through, but not necessarily all of it. Um, because I do obviously like the fluorescent colors that are on there, but I don't, you know, want it to be the whole background because we are going to paint over it. So now I'm taking this uh, stencil girl stencil um, made by Wendy Brightbill and I'm using some Liquitex spray paint in there um, that Nicole actually turned me on to. And I sprayed the black through the stencil and then I flipped it over and um, kind of smushed some of that extra paint onto the paper. Now I'm just spraying in a few more areas and then also on the denim side um, of the spread. And then I am going to take um, a different color. Um, it's like a turquoise color, but it's not called turquoise. It's like phthalo green seven or something like that, but it's a very pretty color and I'm just going to spray that on both sides as well. And then also, I think I leave it there to see if a little bit will smush. Yeah, I'm going to smush it to get a little bit more of that turquoise and everything onto the denim side. And I think it turned out pretty cool. And now I am taking some glass bead gel and I'm going to mix it with some uh, titanium white deco art fluid acrylic just so I think normally the glass bead gel would dry clear um, so I want it to be white because I'm going to take this daisy stencil um, which is also from stencil girl designed by uh, Wendy Brightville um, and I'm gonna put my white glass bead gel through that um, to make these cute little daisies It was right about here that I realized that I should not have taken the stencil off yet because I didn't do the middles. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to uh, carefully put it back to where it should be. Um, and then I am going to take some Dina Wakely Media um, yellow lemon, it's called lemon, and mix that with the glass bead gel to do the centers of the flowers. So now I'm taking this alphabet stamp set from All In Create um, that I got from Hochanda, um, which I think is actually going to be changing their name soon to the craft store. Um, it's a website that's, or a, a store that's based out of uh, the UK, and they sent me some stamps. Um, and I thought that these um, alphabet stamps are really cool because they're kind of in my theme of the more wonky alphabet. You know, I like to take my different size stamps, you know, or different, um, you know, typesets 
to make my words on the pages so this kind of really went perfectly with that so I am just going to stamp spring is in the air um, with these cool stamps and then I'm gonna plop it into the middle of my page and I am stamping that onto some uh, vintage leather ledger paper it's not vintage leather paper that would be something no vintage ledger paper All right, so I'm fiddling around with where I want to put this because I don't want to block too much of my color that's peeking through because I really like that. Um, but I finally decide on a spot and I'm kind of tearing off some of the edges still a little bit because I don't want it to maybe be as big as it is. Um, but then I do finally decide on a spot and I am grabbing some of my, some of the little bits that Erin sent. I really liked these, um, little die cuts that she gave us so I am um, sticking this down with my yes paste um, I like the yes paste I, th I think I've said it before because you don't have to go over it like with a matte medium you don't have to go over the paper um, and it sticks like super well um, it allows a little bit of time to like rearrange things um, you know, if you put it down and then you decide you don't like it, um, you can move it around a little, but once it's stuck, it's pretty stuck and, um, and it's just so much less messy than matte medium. It is really sticky though. So like it will stick to your hands. Um, but yeah, I just like it. So I decided that I was going to try to use some washi tape along the edge, like that straight edge on the bottom, because I didn't particularly like that it was straight. So I wanted to take the uh, this Umwell washi tape with these little botanicals and use that across the bottom. Um, eventually, I will tell you, I ripped it off. <laughs> but. At the time, I thought it was better. Uh, so, and then I think I, I'm gonna put some along this bottom edge here that still doesn't have any, which is I think ultimately why I ripped it off. I just didn't like it. Um, I thought I did, but then I didn't. So now I am going to grab my uh, water soluble graphite stick from I think it's Prima Marketing um, and I'm just going to go around the edge of it and I had dipped it in some water uh, first but then I'm also going to take a brush with water to kind of make it a little darker and runnier. I also decided to do that around the whole outside edge of the page. Um, to kind of give it a border. So I'm going to take the graphite stick, I'm dipping it in the water, uh, scribbling it around the outside edge of the page, and then taking my paintbrush with water and making it a little more runny and bolder. So now I am grabbing this piece of, I think, scrapbook paper that Erin gave us and I'm folding it in half and then I'm going to sew it into a little pocket to add as like a, a flap um, into my spread. And then I am cutting out my deli paper, hamburger paper uh, flower 
and I am going to glue that with some matte medium onto the little flap. So this uh, matte medium is ends up being ridiculously messy, um, but I didn't want to smush it around too much because of the Stabilo pencil. I didn't want it to smush. Um, so now I'm taking some lime gloss spray to um, make some splatters onto my spring is in the air page. And then I'm taking this little tag, I'm flipping my um, insert thing over and I'm going to glue the tag to the back. Um, uh, the front is already dry, I should point out. <laughs> so I did not, I waited until that point. And then I'm using my Yes Paste to do that. And then I am taking this uh, media tape from Dina Wakely Media. Um, it is the plain media tape. And I am using that to tip in my page, or my tip in. Yeah, my pocket. Um, I like doing it this way because it's easier. It may not be as sturdy, but it's going to stay. So it's cool. And I was really struggling with this left side of the page. I wasn't sure that I actually really liked it. Um, I was going back and forth on whether I thought it was pretty or pretty stupid. So. <laughs> Um, I added some coffee grounds because that is my go-to thing to do when I think something is too bright or just not right. Um, so I'm adding the instant coffee grounds and I'm spraying it with water just in some areas that I felt were a bit too busy. Um, and then I'm also kind of trying to take away some of the black edges because I thought maybe it got too black and too messy. Um, so I kind of just go back and forth. And then I also wanted to adhere the media tape a little bit more and then not have it cover as much of the little daisy. Um, that was bother bothering me too. So I end up ripping it a little bit and then just I'm um, added some uh, glue to the bottom of it just to help it stick a little bit better and then you'll see this little tag over here that I wanted to stick into my little tip in um, just to add a little bit of fun so I am um, looking through my Dina Weekly uh, tissue words collage words and I'm cutting out the one that I want to put onto my flower and I think, yeah, be you, because we should all be ourselves. So now I am going to decorate my tag, and I am using one of these other little die cuts, and this um, little thing I had sewn together for one of my uh, collage fodders for my 100 day project. Um, so I'm just gonna staple that on there and then search for a phrase that I wanna put on there. Um, I was trying to look for something that related to spring, but I've probably used all of those already. <laughs> um, so I stuck something else on there that I thought maybe would go with it. I can't really read what it says and I don't remember, um, but Let's just pretend. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna stick it in my little pocket uh, as part of my little tip-in. So 
So now I am going to take some of those craft paper flowers that I made earlier um, and I'm going to rip some pieces out and add that to the back side of my uh, tip in. And I wanted to add again the little die cut, but then I decided to cut it. Um, I thought about it beforehand and I was like, yeah, this would be a great idea. I'll just cut it. And then I, they all fell apart as I should have foreseen. So then I decided to glue, you know, each little bit. It's really not that big of a deal, but it's just kind of funny. I was like, oh, I should have realized that this would happen. Um, but I'm gluing those little pieces in on that side and then I'm going to glue the other little pieces in on the bottom and then add the little, the craft paper flower over the top. So now I'm going to add some splatters with um, some black spray. I think this is Marabou um, acrylic spray. So I added splatters on that. I added it on the tag and I added it on to the little tip-in thing. Um, but I think my camera died before I got to show all that. Anyway, so on the other page I decided, again, it was too dark to black so I'm trying to go over it with some white um, acrylic just go around the edges with some white fluid acrylic um, very watered down to so like when it dries some of the um, uh, graphite will still show through some of the coffee and everything um, but it also just kind of lightens everything up so I'm going back and forth with that a little bit and then I wanted to also bring in just a little bit more of the fluorescent pink to the corners so I um, grab my deco art fluorescent pink and I water it down and it ends up mixing with the white which I think is okay um, and it kind of does the same thing with that the white does you know I kind of go back and forth with it and pick it up and put it down and stuff like that and I think it just makes the end result a little bit brighter and less you know dark and grungy or maybe more grungy but just less dark So now I'm going to take the graphite stick again and outline um, the very edges just to make sure that those are as defined as I wanted them to be um, without going obviously too crazy. <laughs> and that is it. I didn't really do a whole lot with this denim page. Um, I kind of made it like a night and day kind of a thing. Um, you know, the left is the day, the right is the night, um, but I hope you enjoyed the process. I hope you enjoyed the uh, video and the techniques and I hope that you will play along. Make sure you use the has hashtag Mixed Media Menagerie. Um, again, this month we'll be picking a winner for the ephemera pack as well as some Artistro paint pens. 
Um, and make sure you check out Aaron and Nicole's videos as well. Thank you for watching.